as I started to look into it, I became aware of a chilling phenomenon. The body was found in a British Airways Boeing 747, which arrived at Gatwick Airport this morning from Nairobi. He fell to his death as the wheels were lowered above this West London gas works. I couldn't begin to understand what it must be like to cling to the undercarriage of a plane, or what would force anyone to attempt something so dangerous. I learned there have been 109 recorded attempts made across the world, and that London is the most common destination with 16 wheel well stowaways in the last 25 years. We looked out of the window and we saw this young black guy laying there. His head was on the curb and there was brain matter spread across the, the pavement and on some of the cars. You can imagine the fear all of a sudden realising that the air up there is thin, freezing, rather like being on top of Mount Everest. It happened just along here, by this wall here. And it was in the morning, right? It was, except it was Sunday, so it's probably a little quieter. OK. But uh, no children going to school, thank goodness. Well, it isn't the first time we've had people yeah. falling out of aeroplanes in this area, because, as you could probably see, the aeroplanes open their undercarriage around about now. As soon as I got here and saw the state of the body, he was mangled, you know, there was a lot of blood splattering. Some of his brains was on the car over there. You know, I know from the number of bodies I've seen, he had dropped out of the sky. The most affluent part of London, he lost his life in a car park. To understand how this was possible, I met with a pilot who knew all too well. It was the middle of the night when we took off from Delhi. That is when I suspect he um, ran out and um, got into the wheel well. I don't even think I can get up here even if I try. It's like doing it under speed, you just can't really imagine it, can you? I feel jittery just sitting up here. I don't blame you. The ledge that he would have ended up on, I, I would, I don't know, in my head I thought it was sort of more inside the plane, like you can see the outer skin of the plane and it's so thin. In terms of warmth and in terms of oxygen, he's literally, he may as well be outside. Indeed. I'm trembling. This yes. is scary. I don't like it at all. Yes. No, I think it's terrifying. There was no light, so far as I'm aware, in there. So how he found Sit somewhere to dark. light, yeah. I have no idea. Why would you do this to yourself? There's something really um, unpleasant about thinking about this was the place that he lost his life. Absolutely. God, the poor boy. 